I'm Tarmac, and this is your Game Industry News Wrap-Up for the week of October 24th, 2015. Hideo Kojima has left Konami, finally, as stated in an article on TheNewYorker.com, and apparently he had a great but emotional farewell party. Konami has denied that Kojima left and states that he's on vacation. I mean, they scrubbed him from as much of Metal Gear as they could, cancelled projects and such that he was working on. Is this a vacation with the fishes and some cinder blocks? Or do they have some other reason to claim he's still there? In the vein of retro remasters of old LucasArts properties like Monkey Island and Grim Fandango, Double Fine is working on an HD remake of Day of the Tentacle. Let me tell you, you haven't lived until you've given George Washington an exploding cigar to knock out his false teeth and replace them with prank chattering teeth to get Jefferson to light the damn fire because Washington looks cold. Was that a spoiler? And I just thought, like, come on, guys. Let's move forward. Let's not look back. Let's move forward. A DICE developer tweeted the following, X-Bone will always be behind the PS4 this generation because it isn't as powerful. I wonder what he thinks about PCs. Harmonix employees got caught with their hands in the cookie jar posting extremely positive reviews of Rock Band 4 to Amazon without disclosing that they're devs. I think I'm going to go make a few new YouTube accounts and like all of my videos. Obsidian's Kickstarter game, Pillars of Eternity, has sold 500,000 copies, although that counts the close to 74,000 who backed the Kickstarter itself, and that's a number sold since March of this year when the game released. Unfortunately, with the title being amazingly well-reviewed, it really shows that the market for isometric RPGs is not one that's likely going to be targeted by the big publishers anytime soon. Which, given their propensity to screw things up, could be argued as a good thing. Vivendi has picked up some additional ownership of Gameloft and Ubisoft, bringing their stake up over 10% of each company. I wonder if they're happy that they agreed to sell out of their majority stock share in Activision Blizzard, only to miss the launch of Hearthstone, which is a $20 million a month revenue-generating machine. The Activision Blizzard stock price has almost doubled since Vivendi sold their stock. Ubisoft has announced the Ubisoft Club, which is a new piece of the Uplay account. I know what you're thinking. How much does it cost, and what does it peel off of the game experience? Oddly enough, it doesn't, at least not really. The service is free and actually very similar to the Steam trading cards. You play games, level them up, get badges, and some little rewards. It's actually a pretty reasonable little feature. Maybe their CEO has been replaced by an alien. Or maybe he was an alien before and has been replaced by a human. I don't know. It appears that Halo 5 series director Frank O'Connor and Xbox product manager Aaron Greenberg disagree on the possibility of Halo 5 being ported to PC at some point, with O'Connor affirming the positive and Greenberg the negative. But, but, but Phil Spencer just said that the game platform fan wars were distasteful. Sorry this one was short, not a lot of news this week. It's been your game industry news wrap-up for the week of October 24th, 2015. I'm Tarmac. Thanks for watching.